welcome back to the channel in this video something rather bizarre about the TV licensing website one of you my viewers kindly sent me uh, a link to the questionnaire on the TV licensing website which I'd like to discuss in this video so thank you Mark for sending me that uh, I always appreciate these emails to tell me that these things are a little bit odd and need looking into so Mark says he received a letter from TV licensing and uh, then went to this questionnaire online. So we're going to take a look at that together now. So let's move to that questionnaire. But let's first re look at the bits uh, at the outset of this website to see what it says. Telling us you don't need a TV license. Now, this ought to be a very straightforward process. And for many people, it is. I get a few emails from you guys to say that it is a very straightforward process. You tell them you don't need one. You tell them every year or two and you've never had any bother. That's great to hear. That's how it should be. It says here, no TV, as in you don't own a TV, presumably. Not watching TV live on any channel or service or BBC iPlayer, which is, of course, the prerequisite and requirement for a TV license which is if you watch or record live TV or you use BBC iPlayer, then you need a license. Empty property. That's an interesting one, because if you've got a property that's empty, then you don't need the license. You can let us know by completing a no license needed declaration. Now, I'm not sure if this is a full blown statutory declaration. I'd have to look into that. But um, it says here the law says you need to be covered by TV license to watch or record any channel via any TV service. Now, let's look at this very, very carefully. The next bit says watch TV live on any streaming service. But the first bit here, watch or record TV on any channel via any TV service. Sky, Virgin, BT, Freeview, Freesat. That bit itself is not strictly true because... It says watch or record TV. Well, TV does not just encompass live TV. There is on-demand TV. And of course, if you watch the on-demand TV, you don't need a license. And if that's all you do, you don't need a license. So this bit is a little bit misleading, but it, it gets worse in my humble opinion. But for this bit is very slightly misleading. Um, watch or record TV on any channel. So if you watch on demand TV, I think this is a little bit misleading. And yes, to those keyboard warriors, it can be a little bit misleading or it can be blatantly misleading. Um, you can define the two uh, just before you type that down in the comment section below. But of course, the next bit that says watch TV live on any service, then yes, of course, that is covered by the legislation. Watch BBC iPlayer. Yes, that is covered by the legislation because that was the loophole that they closed very quickly. On any device. Uh, yes, I've covered that uh, recently on some videos. It does encompass any device. Before continuing with a no license needed declaration, you'll need to answer the questions below. Now, I find this a bit tedious because you could simply fill out the declaration and say you don't need one. But ostensibly it sort of forces you to go through this questionnaire before filling in such a declaration so i'm going to look at this questionnaire and give you my thoughts on it for what they are worth they are my thoughts my opinions based on my knowledge my experience my knowledge and understanding of the law and the process what is fair what isn't and what i think of what is said on this question one do you or does anyone in your household ever watch TV on any channel? Now, that could be a yes, but without watching or recording live TV. Because as I said, TV encompasses on-demand TV. So, for example, one of these, you could say, well, yes, I do watch some TV. Not live, but some TV. You could say yes. Then it goes on to BBC iPlayer. Now, of course, we know that BBC iPlayer tracks the TV license. So I'm going to say no. Then it says, does anyone in your household watch TV on any TV service? For example, Sky, Virgin. 
again, you could say yes, um, because you could watch the on demand from Sky or from Virgin. So for that, you could say yes. Yes, I do. Question four. Do you or does anyone in your household watch TV programs live on any streaming service? At which point, if you don't watch any live service, um, then, of course, you would say, well, no, I don't. But then you might be confused by the little YouTube icon. And this is a segue into what is a TV program? What is a TV program service? Now, you recall from my other videos, I reached out to the BBC press office and said, can you please give me a definitive list of what is a TV company that would amount to a TV program service for the purposes of the legislation? They came back and said, no, we don't have such a list. So if you were reading this question, you cannot be certain. Nobody can be certain because there is no list. So if you look at this TV um, list, that it, examples that it gives you here, look at this YouTube one, you may think that if you watch a live service of mine, you may think, well, I watch him live sometimes. So I might be tempted to click yes. But I, I would disagree with that because, in fact, uh, at least one or two of my viewers have said they've got extensive experience in this field and have said definitively, in their opinion, that I am not a TV program service. And in my opinion, to top that up, I am not a TV program service and any of my live streams are not television programs for the purposes of the legislation. So you may be confused by that in any event. And it may be slightly unfair in any event because there is no definitive list. So for argument's sake, if I were Let's say there. Let's say you were being prosecuted, and I was the defence counsel. Not that I suppose many of these get defence counsel because of the the level of the fine and so on. It's possibly not cost effective to pay up front those fees for counsel to come and represent you. But if I were counsel for the defendant in a prosecution case for TV license, and the officer is giving evidence that you should be having a TV license. I might put in cross-examination, you cannot be 100% certain that the program the defendant was watching is a television program service because there is no list. That's right, isn't it? You cannot be certain because there's no list. If there's no list, you cannot be certain. I think that's a reasonable line of cross-examination because there is no definitive list. So there may be some ambiguity. If there's an ambiguity, then at the very least, at the end of the prosecution case, even though it would be um, a prosecution for uh, a non-recordable offence, it's still a prosecution. There is still what we call the halfway point, the close of the prosecution case and then the opening of the defence case. And in those cases, after the close of the prosecution case, there is what we call, or it's colloquially known as a half-time submission, which is a, a submission of no case to answer. You may have heard from some programmes such as Silk, which is that there is no case to answer because th there cannot be a uh, secure verdict against the defendant on the evidence presented. And on that basis, there could be a submission of no case to answer on the basis that there is no definitive list of program services. Therefore, how can the defendant possibly be um, convicted without a reasonable doubt? In my view, there would be a reasonable doubt. But all of that aside, all of that aside, this question says, does any, does you or anyone else in your household watch programs live? Let's say that you took the view that you don't watch anything live at all and you said no. So remembering to the previous questions, we've said yes to TV, not live, yes to TV on demand. But let's say here we say no, no to live TV. And we're going to see what the outcome says and whether I agree with it or not. Do you or does anyone in your household ever record TV? Uh, for that, you probably say, well, no, because I only watch on demand. And by the nature of on demand, I don't need to record it. It's always there. So for that, we're going to say no. Question six, uh, final question by the look of it. Um, bearing in mind that this applies to all these devices. Do you or does anyone in your household watch foreign channels on TV or live online, for example, on one of these. Now, you may say yes, but not live. 
again on demand from uh, I don't know if any of these companies do on demand services um, maybe they do maybe they don't either way if the answer yes to on demand services from one of these services uh, is is my answer it's covered by the previous answer so I'm going to say no uh, just in case all of these only do uh, live TV but for the for the purposes of this I'm going to say no so just before I click this and it gives me a result hopefully um, the only ones we've said yes to are we watch TV on demand not live uh, but no live and for this one foreign channels no just in case they're only live so we're going to click no and it says you need a TV license based on your answers you need a TV license it says uh, I fundamentally disagree because if you recall we only said yes because we watch on-demand TV let's refresh this questionnaire let's do it again do you or does anyone else in your household ever watch TV on any channel well yes I mean that can be yes if you're watching on demand I player no um, TV on any TV service let's say that you're thinking well hang on a minute I don't watch the TV service I, I do watch TV but not live and not TV service and you're a bit confused let's say no to that and let's say um, no to any live at all let's say uh, no to recording and let's say no to the foreign channels it says you need a TV license again I disagree because if you're watching on demand you don't need a TV license let's refresh it again let's say well instead let's say that you watch the TV service such as Virgin which has got on-demand service and Sky which has got on-demand services let's say let's test it with that Th those are the only ones that you watch so now for question one we'll say do you or does anyone in your household ever watch TV on any channel now we're presuming now for this round that this is live so we're going to say no iPlayer no any uh, TV service you could watch Sky perfectly legitimately without watching live TV. So I'm going to say yes. And we're going to say no to any of the live, uh, no to recording and no to foreign channels. You need a TV license. So I cannot generate an answer that says I don't need a TV license. This presumably expects me to say no to them all. Because so far from my understanding of watching on-demand services and it even says here watching S4C on demand doesn't require a license so how does th how does that work how do I generate a result that says I don't need a TV license so again we're going to say no to the watch TV which I still don't agree with no to iPlayer that's fair enough this is the one we said yes to do you watch TV on any TV service? Well, if you watch Sky or Virgin, I mean, I don't watch either of these, but um, if you do, uh, Virgin on demand, uh, Virgin on demand catch up. If you have a if you have a TV package with Virgin, you can watch demand. This is a TV service. Virgin movies you can watch those perfectly legitimately without the TV license so catch up and on demand um, you don't need a TV license for so for that you might legitimately say well, yes I watch that but I don't watch any of these live ones I don't record any of them and I don't watch the international ones it says you need a TV license plain as day you need a TV license I fundamentally disagree and I think that's misleading because for argument's sake if we refresh this once yet again if this said as Mark quite rightly pointed out it appears to have omitted left out the word live in front of TV here because that would make it more accurate do you or does anyone in your household ever watch live TV on any channel then you would say no of course I don't watch live TV I don't want the TV license I don't watch live TV you would say I don't watch don't use iPlayer again if this said 
do you or does anyone in your household watch live TV on any TV service? Live. Then, of course, you'd say no. Record. Um, no, this is the live one. Watch any live? Of course, no. Record? No, because you only watch demand services. And again, with the word live, do you or does anyone in your household watch foreign channels on live TV? Here it clarifies on TV or live online. It should be live TV or live online, in which case you'd say no. And then it would say you can declare no license needed. So in my respectful view, this is very badly worded at best because it's missing out the key element of the legal requirement for a TV license, which is live TV. L watching or recording live TV or BBC iPlayer or installing any of these devices for that purpose. That is what you need the license for. And for what it's worth, in my opinion, as a barrister and as an individual for that matter, I think this is misleading because the legislation refers only to live TV. I know I'm dwelling on a bit, but that's what I think. Um, you can see it for yourselves. Uh, you can go and check it out yourself. You can test it yourself. In fact, I will also link up a poll. Uh, I will link it in the description below. Um, please vote on it, whether you think this page is misleading. Um, watch this video again if you want to just run through it again. Run through the questionnaire yourself. So this video can in no way for any lawyers watching be defamatory because I'm offering you the opportunity to go and check it out yourself. You've watched it happen. You can form your own views. You can go to the questionnaire yourself. I will link the questionnaire below as well. You can go to that yourself. Um, this is my opinion based on my own experience, my own understanding, my own legal knowledge and my qualifications and my own experience going through this questionnaire. I think this is misleading for what it's worth. So leave me your comments in the box below. Please vote on the poll. And as an aside, I am plugging a couple of my own things. Since you get all my content for free on here, unless you pay for YouTube Premium, in which case you don't need to see the adverts. But um, you can join as a member on my channel to support me. You can join on uh, Patreon to support me. You can join on my website to support me, blackbeltbarrister.com. If you do any one of those things, I will give you early access, as long as you give me your email address and I can track you down. I will give you early access to an app that I'm developing, uh, which hopefully will go live in its very early form next month, uh, March 23, for anyone watching in the future. Um, which will help you to fight any of these cases. It will help you fight any kind of case like this, whether it's this, whether it's a dispute between friends, whether it's a dispute over parking, shopping, breach of contract, you name it. It will help you resolve and fight all of those things. Join me, support me, and I'll give you early access to that. And um, it's exciting. I'm really... I really can't wait to tell you all about it, but I can't because it needs to be in its early form first before I do that. And while you're at it, subscribe to Black Belt Secrets linked in the description below for um, wealth building tips, which I'm going to put out on there as well. So I thank you for joining me. Please smash that like button and subscribe and I will see you next time.